Hello. As the 24th EUFRO World Congress winds down here in Salt Lake City, Utah, plans are already underway for the 25th, which will take place in October of 2019. For the first time in EUFRO's 121-year history, the event will be held in a Latin American country, Brazil. Here to talk about the 2019 Congress are Dr. Yeda Oliveira, a scientist with the Brazilian Agricultural Research Corporation, Embrapa, who is also a resident of Curitiba, the host city, and Dr. Gilberto Freitas, a director of the Brazilian Forest Service. Welcome to you both, and congratulations on winning the bid. So, for the first time, the UFRO World Congress is going to be held in a Latin American country, yours. That must make both of you proud and happy. Yes. And perhaps a little nervous. Yes. <laughs> we are frightened. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brazil was the winner over, I believe, seven other bidders. Is, was there a specific reason for that, do you think? Gilberto, do you want to take that one? Yes, Bobby. I think uh, Brazil wants the, the, the bidding process because it, it is going to be the first time in Latin America. Uh, and also because Latin America plays uh, uh, an important role in terms of forest and also in culture related to forests. Uh, in particular, Brazil it is a, a big, a large country with most of, uh, half of the, the, his territory is covered by forests. So uh, I think this contributed for uh, the result of this, this, this competition. I see, okay. Now, probably when most people, non-Brazilians at least, think of Brazil, they think of Rio de Janeiro. Yeah. Uh, Curitiba will be the site of this event. Now, you live there. Yeah. So tell us about the city and why you think that is the site. Okay. Um, Curitiba is a green city and it was a very, very well planned city. And it hosted the um, COP8 of the Convention of Bio Biodiversity I with see. kind okay. of 5,000 people. And uh, it's the house of the first forestry school in, in Brazil. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. And even being in the South Brazil, we have a, a, a culture, a very heavy forestry culture there. Lots of companies and uh, different uh, institutions who, who have uh, forests as an issue. Then we thought that Curitiba would be a good place to have the Congress. And also because it's a place which is easier to, to get for example, from the other cities in Brazil or from South America, from Paraguay, from Argentina, yes. it's, it's not too far. Uh, and then we, we thought that we, we would have this Congress there. I see. Okay. Now, Brazil's forests have been much in the news over the years, and sometimes the news hasn't been good. What's happening in Brazil's forests today? Uh, I think Brazil is, uh, is, is doing a good job in reducing deforestation. Deforestation is, 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 the, is the, the worst problem that we have because we have Amazon region. Yes. Amazon region is a, a, a half of the country. Uh, it's a region where lives more than 20 million people and uh, almost covered with forests. So in the last decades, 30, 20, 30 years, because of the, the, the opening of roads, deforestation has been uh, a problem uh, to the government, to the society. But uh, in the last 10 years or so, Brazil is, is fighting very hard uh, uh, through forest policies and also uh, monitoring and control of illegal activities and is being successful in reducing deforestation. And this uh, make, make us very proud we know that uh, we still have a, a lot of work to do and to reduce much more the deforestation, but we hope that by 2019 we will be much better than we are now uh, because we, we, we are doing our best to that. Okay, now, Yeda, as, as a researcher, is, yeah. is there one particular area that is of uh, key importance in Brazil in terms of research? Okay. Um, well, there's a lot of different areas which we can uh, say that are important in Brazil now. Uh, we worked at a research institution and we 
uh, work in uh, forest research for more than 30 years. But um, we could say that at this time, uh, we could say that about maybe um, forest monitoring uh, uh, by uh, field trips, field, field work, or by remote sensing mm -hmm. and, and other issues would be interesting to, to, to have a, a more, more research on and this, at this time. And other, we think that more probably forest restoration. Now, do you see this upcoming Congress as a way to raise the profile of UFRO in Latin America? Yes, I think so. Uh, I think that uh, most of the previous Congress of, Congress of UFO uh, were in different parts of the world and never in Latin America. And then uh, this makes, uh, of course, that the participation of this region perhaps was, more, was less in the past. Uh, by, by doing a World Congress uh, in Brazil or in Latin America, it seems to be uh, normal or as expected that the, the importance of the UFRO can grow in the region. And this is part of the, our strategy to promote the UFRO 2019. When, pre when we presented the, 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 the proposal to UFRO last year, uh, we suggest that we could work to improve the participation of institutions and researchers of Latin American countries in, in this, uh, this Congress. Yeda, let me ask you about this Congress. Have you learned anything here that you think will help you in your preparations for 2019? Oh, yeah. Uh, first of all, organization. They had four or five years to prepare, but it's a very, very large Congress. Lots of people, different people from different countries and different sections. And um, it's, it's very hard to manage, I think, to, to have all these things done so well as they are doing. Um, I know we are going to, to learn with them. Yes. And, and uh, maybe, uh, have a, a partnership in the future, why not? Okay. And, and this is going to be uh, certainly um, a very, very nice opportunity for us to, to have a, a, a forestry um, congress in, in Brazil, in, in Curitiba. Okay, now these congresses, they cover a vast range of forest topics. Uh, is there one area that you want to put special emphasis on in 2019? I'll start with you on this one, Gilberto. Well, I think the, any UFRO Congress should be able to cover most of the divisions and subdivisions yes. of UFRO. I think this is, is very important so that uh, every participant of a member of UFRO uh, can be satisfied. But uh, uh, as the Congress uh, is going to a new region for the first time, I think that uh, uh, should be a good idea to put more emphasis on information, on research, on, on teams that are, are relevant now for that region too. So I can see the, the two ways. First, to cover all divisions of UFRO, and the second one, uh, uh, make uh, easier the way to know more about Latin America and Brazil, of course. Okay, anything to add to that one? Um, I, I, no? All right, then I will just say abrigat. Uh, thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.